Good morning. <laughs> wow, we've had another rocking art. As you can probably hear on the microphone, the wind is back. But the last time, we knew it was coming because the storms were coming. The I is it Iris or something like that and Jocelyn. But last night that was so unexpected. But as you can see, it's pretty open here. This is Loch Ness Bay campsite, and we are the only ones here. Now, JP and Sammy was here. They've set off to Auburn now. Good luck with the crossing there. JP was supposed to be stopping tonight, but there's not much here for them. So that's why they asked if they could transfer the money they've paid for tonight for us to stop last night. So nice of you. Thank you, guys. Such a lovely thing to do. And we had such a good laugh last night in the van with them. It's always a pleasure to catch up with them both. Safe travels over to Auburn. I hope we do catch up with you soon. So we're moving on today. We're going back down to Fort Augustus because we have got a deadline for this new vlog and there's good, good Wi-Fi down there. It's nice and flat and it's nice and quiet so we can get some editing done down there. And then I think we're moving on to Fort William and then Glencoe. Fort William is supposed to be a nice place to look round and Glencoe is supposed to be scenic. So I'm on the look for some brown Scottish cows. I call them Hamish cows. We haven't seen one anywhere. Very strange. I thought they'd be in every field up here but... No, so I'm on the lookout for those. Still rolling the dice, still hoping to find a future for me. I'm still in this fight. still in Fort Augustus. Yeah, we've spent four whole nights here, haven't we? <laughs> we have. In and around uh, Loch Ness. From Three nights here and one in the campsite, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've had hardly any chance to do any filming. It's either been really windy or rainy or both, hasn't it? It's uh, been horrendous. And I wanted to have a look at the loch a little bit closer. So we're in Fort Augustus, which is at the south end of Loch Ness. Loch Ness. And we're going to have a walk up to the shores as a viewpoint up there. We're going to have a look, see what we've we done nothing. Yeah, we've done nothing about Loch Ness, have we? And we're here in Loch Ness. Well, we've but... been here for... Four days, four yeah. nights, something like saying it's just not. We've just done little snippets of filming that you've already seen. So, and we've got up this morning. And it's blue sky and not a drop of wind. It's absolutely got. I've even got my green coat off. If the sun was just a bit higher in the sky, we, it's, it'd feel almost spring-like. Yeah, you know? what? It's gorgeous. It's not cold at all, is it? Now the building behind us, if you can see it through the trees, that was Saint Benedict's Abbey, and guess what it is now? Apartments. Luxury. Can apartments. you imagine living there? That's absolutely beautiful. Right on like the neck of the river that takes you down to Loch Ness. Well, this is a canal, and that's the Oich River that side. And is this a Caledonian canal? Yeah, this is Caledonian. It stretches 60 mile all the way from Fort William to Inverness. Mm. And if you come up on a canal boat and you want to get to the Inverness, you've got the 20 something miles of Loch Ness to endure as well. So it's 27 miles, I think. Can you imagine when it was like when we came back down yesterday to here? It was really windy, and they were like, it was waves were like out at sea in the middle, weren't they? Like an see. ocean, it was horrendous. Can you imagine being on a little canal boat with that? <laughs> you wouldn't do it, would you? You'd wait for it to calm down. Let's see what we've learnt about Loch Ness. So, like I said, 26 to 27 miles long, it goes from Inverness right down to Fort Augustus. Now, what was it we were told the other day about its depth mark? Deep, isn't it? It's deep. It's, it's really deep. Hundreds and hundreds of feet deep in certain areas, isn't it? And what it? about so the amount of water that it holds? Was it, it? It holds more water, this one single lock, than all the lakes and everything else in and rivers in England. Can you so. can you comprehend <laughs> that? That's yeah. just mega, isn't it? I'm hoping when we get to this viewpoint, you, you won't, can't see the end of it because it's so long, but that makes you realise just how big it is. Because when you're driving down, you don't get the sense because the, the roads are like weaving in and out, so you don't really get a sense of how long it yeah. actually is. It's a beautiful that. drive. You can drive all the way around the lock, and we've done, what, 85% of it? Yeah, yeah. The other famous thing about Loch Ness, Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Yeah. People come from all over the world to come to Loch Ness here, just to see if they can get a catch a glimpse of this 
um, mysterious monster that's supposed to live in the water. Mm. With people, like I say, we've just seen some people from look like from China. Yeah. Right, we're right excited. But yeah, but people do come from everywhere, don't they? They do. And it's uh, it's been photoed about a thousand times. But even if we took a photo of it, now it would be criticised because a lot of people just don't believe in it. Um, I think the, the person who comes up with a 100% proof will be a millionaire. <laughs> that wow i've absolutely fallen in love with Loch Ness. it's an absolutely beautiful place there's something about it not because it's supposed to ha just have a mythical creature in there but just because it's absolutely stunning this lake changes color i've called it moody lock because we we're coming down yesterday and one minute it looked really nice and inviting the next minute it looked really angry and dark didn't it depends how the weather hits it and it's so big it's gorgeous, it really, really is. We can't advise you enough to go further up into Scotland and get to Loch Ness because I don't want to leave. But how can you not fall in love with this? It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, I want to show you this. This is a bucket list thing for me. I've wanted to see one of these cows for ages. You were saying, weren't you, up time and not seen on these island cows. So there's loads here. There's like loads. Pen, I've said, but there's shoot over the road. I hope I don't frighten. Oh, look at this one here. Oh, he's gorgeous. They're living in a bit of mud like, aren't Hello, they? boy. Hello. Have you got any spam for it? He's going to move. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at them all up there. Yeah. Oh, oh you are gorgeous. We've just found some more. We found black, brown, and a really strange looking one. A really nice colored one. Look at this one here. Look it's not brown one, and it's it? not black. Yeah, I think these are a bit younger, you know, these. I think these oh, are Oh, like, these are lovely. This black one here looks bigger. <laughs> You're beautiful, aren't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what can I say? Scotland doesn't stop giving, does it? Look at this for a park up. What a car park this is. I, know, I should have bought my fishing rod, shouldn't I? There's people fishing here. Absolutely gorgeous. You could have sit in your car looking at that view all day long. You found us in Fort William. We finally made it. No winds, no snow. Yay! Bit of blue sky as well at that. So we're happy today, aren't we? Yeah. Not getting blown around and we're not freezing. And we're even happier because we've just spotted weather spoons. Not so really for our breakfast. Mm. I've never got up so early, so quick and early in the morning. I've never seen you move so quick in oh, a, yeah. a, quite a few weeks. Up, took dog out, done. He's had three wheezes and two poos. <laughs> Thanks for that. Does anyone else do that? When you take your dog out in the morning from your motor home, you tell your partner how many wheezes and poos your dog's at? No, because it's a shoe, you're special. Three wheezes, two poos, and one red angler. Oh my God. We're going for breakfast now, believe it or not. But before we do anything else, we need to just tell everyone about the problem with our motor home, don't we? Yeah, you Maybe. explain it because I don't get it. We've got, on the front of our motor home, Swift Bolero, it's got um, a big skylight. It's a thick sealed one, it's bonded in, and it's letting in a bit of water in, but it's getting in side the actual because it's insulated like most windows like double glaze and it's getting inside so there must be like a net there are airline cracks on the inside and i do know it's common it is a common issue with them so and i've, I've read on on uh, facebook people's posts it's like seven eight hundred pounds to get replaced but uh, yeah watch your space because we've had a load of rain haven't we so, yeah and every time every now and then when you go around a corner you get like the drips it's yeah. coming out of the cracks at the bottom but it's coming it's not bad enough at a minute to be too worried and we've just parked up over a wall over there to have a look because I can climb up and have a look. If we can get through this weather that we've been up in, what we have a few few drips, yeah. it's not that bad. I was, but I've got a big solar panel I was going to stick over it, wasn't it? But, water you know, in a motorhome getting in is never a good sign, so no. you need to get it sorted but as soon not, as, don't It's we? not really inside the roof panels or anything, no. it's just coming out. So we'll monitor it. Um, but yeah, it is a common issue, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I think there's a few people having issues. Part of the issue is, I think, these winds, you know. Because you're talking... Well, it's, it is driving, isn't it? When very, get, very when, when you get driving this, winds. The thing is with the winds, when you get these gusty winds and they forget under, 
it does loosen things a little bit. I mean, our, our UK sticker at the back, that's all come loose, hasn't it? Been flapping with the yeah. wind, the wind. So, yeah, the wind, it does, does get, get its way through and it could have just caused it to leak a little bit. Can I just show you these are Klauses over here? Look at these are Klauses. That must be like the main road, or I don't know if you can pick it up. What a place to live! Mm. Right on the lock side. Wow, and then they've got Ben Nevis round the corner. Again, you can't see it from here, we'd have to move it a bit. Up and up and up. I was looking and put it in the comments below for those of you who've been to Fort William and you've been on the gondola. There's a restaurant slash cafe about halfway up, and I was looking to do that, book that today, but I'm pleased to think because it's gone freezing What's a gondola? Cold. Like a cable car, it takes you from the base station. Oh no! It takes you to, there's a cafe in like a thing, it's called Nevis something. Anyway, ben Nevis by any chance? No, it's, it's like a halfway up. Yeah. And I did it, I went up many, many years ago, and you do, they tie up these cable cars. But anyway, I was going to book it because there's a cafe I was going to book. It's £24 a person. You know where so. I'm like, where? Are you joking? No, return. Oh yeah, get me up there, I'll be screaming all the way. No. We'll stick with Weatherspoons. So here you go, this is this car park. They've even given you information where you can find uh, the nearest campsites. It's for the facilities, isn't it? To empty your toilet and everything. Yeah. But we did, just down the road where we stopped last night, there is motorhome parking. Just like this, you can't stop on this one overnight. They do make it clear you can't stop from yeah. 9 till 8 in the morning. But the one we stopped on last night, yeah. there is overnight parking and you will find it all on Search for Sites. nearly got run over at the crossings because we didn't realise it were on two separate things. <laughs> um, we're here and we're nearly at Wibberspoons. I've never been to Fort William before but Mark's been before. I've Years not ago. been. Did you come with school or something? <laughs> There's a cat I in were there talking waving. to you. There's a what? A cat in there waving. Yeah no and I also, I also see what it is as well. Is it on menu? Sitting is closed until the 23rd of February. It's another one that's closed in places for a long time, isn't it? It's all the first tea anyway. Oh, no, we're not. It's cheap as well, Lisa. I'd like to let that's you know. That's not cheap. Where are you looking? 760. That's cheaper than it. Look, a turbo fried rice as well. That you're is you're one. Trying, to, trying to try that, aren't you? It's just spicy, isn't it? 760. Oh, Mark! Can you imagine? <laughs> I can do that, can I? Part time waiting staff. You'd wait a long time if he were fetching your food, I'll tell mm. you right now. If everyone stops watching our videos, I could go and work there. So make sure you <laughs> stop watching. No! <laughs> Here we go, the weather spoons. I'm looking forward to this. It's the first time since. When was the last one we went to? Um, where you cut your finger? Elgin. Yes. Elgin. Yes. So that's. Ages ago, isn't it? Weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Weeks and weeks and weeks ago. <laughs> oh. And we went somewhere else and we thought there was one and there weren't. Yeah, and breakfast is on till 12 here. Better get my finger out. So we're travelling around so much, we have noticed that different weather spoons in different towns are different prices, so be very careful. We've just come to Fort William and it's a very touristy place here, very touristy. Prices are different. Now we normally pay £4.50. £4.60 so, well, £4. for a traditional. And here it is. £7.66. And a large breakfast is £10. The prices are a lot more here than anywhere else, so just be careful when you go in thinking you're getting a cheap breakfast because if you're going somewhere very, very touristy, you will pay more. But it's a nice breakfast it's a nice anyway. Nice breakfast, isn't it? Did you get extra, extra hash browns? Two, yeah. Sneaky. I've just said to Mark, I think I know why it's more expensive. Because look at this view you've got. Look at that. Big massive window with the view of all the lock and the hills. Are the hills and mountains, Mark? Oh, I've got a bit of a dilemma. I've just been in this gift shop behind me and there's a massive Highland cow toy. 
reduced from £39.99 or £35 to £15. They're on special offer today only, and I don't know what to do, but where do I put it in the motorhome? I absolutely love Harlan cows. After seeing them yesterday, they're absolutely gorgeous. What are you doing? Who's this? Oh, I'm scared. He's just moved once when I've been sat here. No, he hasn't. Who is it? I can't... Of all the places to sit, I find you here. No wonder I can't see you. You should be looking down road down there at that Chinese. Mm. No, I think he's got the right idea. That is a beautiful view, isn't it? Mm. I've seen a cow. Where? In that shop. A and coo. I really want it. A coo. A big brune hurry coo. <laughs> and I really want it. But I don't know where to put it in the motor. Is it a big one? Yeah. Cheek or hump it? Probably. It's called Johnny Wetbottom. Johnny Wetbottom? What are you yeah, on about? This, this is what it's called. Is it? Eh? Where? At over there. Lock, whatever it is. Lock Lenny. But I bet there's a lot of people come to Fort William and don't recognise this guy. Especially well, don't realise that he's took his shoe off, he's got a dodgy foot. What? Is that why you were sat with him? Yeah. He's obviously he's walked all the way on the West Island Way and he's took his shoe off because he's got blisters. Look. So I bet you're not a bit like many people realise he took his shoe off. Yeah, Johnny Wetbottom, come and say hello to him. Just want to show you this. Who thinks that used to be a church? That looks like church to me, that. That big big window up there. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Been turned into a pub. Yeah, Black Isle Bar. I didn't know this was, this isn't Black Isle. Black Isle's the other side, isn't it? No, it's only called the Black Isle Bar, Mark. Yeah. It's not saying that we're in the Black Isle. Yeah. Right, come on, let's go around the main street because... Uh, <clears throat> We've just seen a few subscribers and they said there's loads of charity shops for me to look at. <laughs> well, bid farewell to Johnny Wetbottom. If anyone knows who that is or if it's supposed to be someone famous, let me know in the comments below because I can't see anything saying Johnny oh, Wetbottom. Oh, no, it's Peter Sawfoot. <sighs> what have you found now? Oh, bagpipes and another Westy cup, another Woody cup. Oh, it's the same one as we saw in Inverness. Yeah. Look at bagpipes. What, you can go in and just buy a bagpipes? Well, I don't think you can buy them for this display, but it's called Tartan House. Isn't Mark, it? another job. You could live up here and get a job. Oh, yeah, I could do live in my motorhome, couldn't I? <laughs> right. You could work daytime in here and nighttime in Chinese. Yeah. It'd be good, wouldn't it? You've got stuff like all your tartan stuff. Wow, there's a lot of these shops here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, this is the High Street, guys. It's, it's quiet, very, isn't? very quiet and it's a Monday morning. Two buses have pulled up and dropped off a load of tourists, haven't they? Yeah. So, I don't know where they've all gone to. I well, think they've all gone into Weatherspoons. I think so. A few went in, didn't they? Yeah. So. Yeah, there's a, again, there's a lot of shops shut for winter. It's crazy, because I think if I had a shop, I'd be wanting to make a living every day, but uh, uh, they must make plenty during the summer, during that's all summer, I can it, say. Be, honestly, it'll be evening, won't it? The Ben Nevis, which is just round the, the corner, isn't it? Why are you going now? Oh. Thank God it's closed. Fish and chip shop, but they've got a big ice cream counter as well. Look, have a look. Oh, yeah? Opens at four o'clock. It might be fish and chip flavoured ice cream, but. I don't know where the menu is. There's only a menu for ice cream. Look what I've spied. British Heart Foundation. Just take a look around, though. It is tidy, isn't it? Look, there's no oh, rubbish. it's spotless. Or Absolutely anything. spotless, but it's so quiet. Look at all the bins as well. All the way along it, you see, as far as the eye can see, you can see <sighs> there's the original ones, there's wheelie bins, there's one Mark there, has got a massive fascination with bins in Scotland, haven't you? Because there's loads of them. <laughs> England, you need to take some of this out and do do this, put wheelie bins out for people to put the rubbish in. That's why it's so clean. Yeah. In, in England, all the bins would be overflowing now and everywhere, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Right, I'm going into British Art Foundation, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, look at these in Windermark. Got some snow boots. Wow. I like this bit here, Lisa, because it's got all the all your Amazon returns and stuff on it. Hey, look at that, look. Shall, shall we get that? Are you having a laugh? That's fancy, isn't it? Why are you going to wear it? Of course. Look at you, scrubbing around. Sorts, it's like all your Amazon stuff, isn't it? Look. Look them. Do you want any of them? No. 
What's this? Is that one in the stands for your iPad? It's a leather case for something. Uh, That's the thing, you don't know what it is, you just have to root through, don't you? Can't oh. take him anywhere. My turn this time, isn't it? I was on a couple of weeks ago about when we go to places and there's public toilets and we need to top the van up and there's no outside tap. You can get them that will shower things what you used to have in 80s and plug on. And I've been to, we've been in there and I've got one up. <laughs> and that's what I mean, so all it does, I'll show you what you do. I think they're normal, they're not daft. You just shove it on the tap, <laughs> take the other end off, you just fill your watering can up. Just if we so get it's a, a piece bit of part basically yeah. with a rubber band yeah. rubber end on it. And it was three pounds from charity shop from whatever it was charity see shop. there's not only me that gets stuff from charity shops but i couldn't believe it. i was just rooting through and that were there i couldn't believe that yeah after you stop looking at the sexy underwear i bought that as well <laughs> Driven down Ben Nervous in it. I, I sent. Oh, that's what he did. Right. In the Model T4. Right. This is a fascinating story. This chap here, um, he actually went, took a car to the top of Ben Nevis, took him nine days, yeah. and drove it down. Mm. I don't think you could even do that. That, that Ascent, was. Yeah. I mean, that's not. So there wouldn't have been no roads right up there. That's 1911 as well. That's all rocky and stuff. So. And then in 2011, 77 men took the car, the actual car, in pieces up mm. to the top of Ben Nevis. And put it back together again. Yeah, and put it back together again. Mad, isn't it? Uh. Crazy. And just in front of us here, what a sculpture this is. That's the original, well, it's modelled on the original yeah. car, isn't it? Yeah. And there he is, the chap who did it. What made him get up one morning and decide to do that then? I don't know. Stupidness. <laughs> Crazy. It was a Ford car, weren't it? Looks well, quite cranky now, doesn't it? Does it work? No, it's, no. it's only a model. It's a good model, though, isn't it? It's it is a very good model, yeah. And stuff. It's strange. a bronze, Mark. It's in bronze. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. We just found this little... We just come round the corner and found this lovely little square where yeah. people are just sat. I can't believe the day we've got today. There's not one bit of wind. It might not come over as being very nice on camera, but the sun's still quite low, isn't it? It's believe me, generous. this is like summer compared to the days we've been having. This is gorgeous. Hey, we've got a bakery shop here. Oh, I hope. Nevis Bakery. Have got any well-fired rolls? I haven't seen bit. a Harry Gow's for a while. No, it's probably further up, isn't it? Have they? This is an old-fashioned bakery, isn't it? You might have it back. You might have to go and ask them later. I want to drink a pop anyway, so shall we go in and have a look? get some well fired rolls well he didn't get any no well fired rolls i didn't even get a drink of pop either i hope harlan hospice look at this for a charity shop you are kidding me there's one of these at inverness i think Lisa. wow it's well posh <laughs> i'm going in oh wow this is definitely a posh shop look at this they've got irish tweed in here for 20 pound oh guys Beautiful in here. Look at this. This is a charity shop. Gutted. Beautiful shop. Found a lovely waistcoat. Didn't fit. And after he said I could have it as well. No, I didn't say that. I just said, do you need it? And I said, yes, I do. It's like when I say to you, I need the Chinese. And you say, no, you don't, Mark. Come no, on. No, because the Chinese is it and it's gone. A waistcoat would last me years. Anyway, it didn't fit anyway, so I didn't get it. Gutted. What's that? You wanted a hardware shop, didn't you? Yeah. What did you want it for? I want some duct tape. I'm not even asking what you want that for. So we keep seeing this shop in all the little towns we go to in Scotland. It's called Nickel and Dam. I think it's like your pound stretcher. Bike I really is a lot. Oh yeah, look at the bikes. Are they electric or pedal power? I don't know. It just says, high bike. No, they're not. Oh, they are electric, look. They look really heavy, Mark, and chunky, don't they? Yeah. Really chunky. Not 
bad. I don't think the electric one. You don't have a dryer. You don't have electric cover or anything on there. Uh, this is your nickel and your dam. You're going to have a look. It's a knick-knack shop, isn't it? It looks like one of those places it should be called Aladdin's Cave. Yeah. What, you have to duct tape? Well, I'll see. Front any buckets? That's one of them things, Lisa, look. What is it? Gondola. Oh! It's... They don't call them gondolas, do they? Yeah. Why is it just hanging there like that? To show you what they are. I'm not sure where you get on it. I think they go up somewhere up there. What, it takes you right up Ben Nevis? Right up and over, carries on going. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so glad you didn't get one of those, Mark. I wouldn't have liked that at all. I'm not sure. I can't remember where you get it from actually, but there's a place like a base station, you get to it, and it takes you up and you can carry it. I think you can go a bit further, maybe, I think, to like. Probably if you skiing. Google it, it'll come up, won't it? Yeah, it's all on the internet about it, so. What is it? Is it a tourist thing or is it just for skiing? Well, it's tourist. You, don't, you haven't got to go skiing to get on it. You can just get on it and there's like a restaurant and a bar about halfway up. I think it's nine in the morning until four in the afternoon, last, last trip back down. No, oh, I wouldn't have liked that. But it's a good way up. You can see when it's a clear day, you can see for miles round. Last time you took me in anything like that was that glass lift in that hotel and I didn't like that either. We've come back because I didn't bag anything in town and Mark got a shower head. Shower head. So look who's coming home with me. Hello, this is Hamish, and he's going to be going on his travels with us. Isn't he gorgeous? But look at his dad. Look at his hair. You can do with some hair like that, can Hamish! Chico's new, going to go it's mad, a new northerner. <laughs> love him. It's, big, it's bigger than Chico, isn't it? It's chunkier than Chico. Should have been £40, that. Mm. And we've seen some down the road, haven't we? They're not half yeah. as nice, and they were £25. Yeah. What a bargain, look at him. Oh. So not only have I seen my, my Scottish cows now, I'm taking one home with us. So what do you think of Fort William, Lisa? I like it. It's, it's, it's not overpowering and there's plenty look to look at. Probably yeah. more if you come in the summer. Um, we're not doing Ben Nevis, not no, with this no. one. Well, we've just, done the, we've just done the street, haven't we? We're going to have a look at the lock when we get back down to the van. Yeah, so. it's, it's very, again, traditional, very nice. Mm. Like I say, probably going to be even in the summer. See what Chico's got to say now, eh? Are you Joe ready going? for this? Chico, you've got a friend. Well, no, that? he's going. Let him out, let him go, Mr. Chico. Now we've got a new doggy. <laughs> oh, you're going in this, we're having this one instead. Yeah. He's like, the same colour in uniform there. Yeah. Oh, he loves him. Chico, meet Hamish. Nice and warm in there, Chico, isn't it? He's coming. Well, hey! Well, right, so we've just been to the post office, sent another seven mugs out. So if, you were, if you've paid for your mugs last week, they're on the way to you. We're on the ball this week, aren't we? Yeah, we're on the ball. Now, we are heading to Europe very soon. So if you want a mug, please email us ASAP. We do have some. Um, and we'll try and get them out to you. Well, we will get them out to you before we go to Europe. And that'll be the last time. After that, months, yeah, because we can't do it from Europe, obviously. Uh, we were thinking about get, paying someone to do it while we're away, but we don't see the point in that. Mm. And I, I prefer to do that personal touch myself. It's actually the last chance to grab a, a cup in it. Yeah, so send For us now. an email at info at Northerners on Tour and I will contact you straight back and let you know how you can get yourself some of the best mugs on the market. Too good to go, please. <laughs> too good to go. Too good to go. Is it too good to go or not too good it's to go? It's good. You're going to like this one. I don't know. Is it, what is in it? Chinese? <sighs> it's well. Oh! Tuna melt. Panini. So you just warm it up, man. Tuna melt. You're joking. <laughs> Are you ready for this? A bag full of pastries. Okay. Yum yums. Croissants. That's right, how much of that? £3.50. For nothing, isn't it? Right. So I, I don't know That's how much they though. are. Well, you can find that online, can't you? But yeah. it should have been. Well, if you're sitting here. £10 if you have, worth of stuff. If you're having them done, in, you can put them on the grill or something. If you're having them here. Well, chocolate croissants, yeah. chocolate things. So we actually knew about it as well, didn't we? No, yeah. what they did was she radioed through to someone, two people come out and they check all the dates on everything that's there then. And that's what we got. Fair Did we have so, to see proof as no, well? No, no. 
you say too good to go so there you go that's my tea and your tea sorted yeah. out or lunch even mm. fantastic isn't it yeah i'll go back and park up for the night like we said check out the app and have a look if there's any near you for some good deals so we totally forgot that we've got the ridge monkey in the van because i'm thinking we've got these paninis how am i going to do them so i'm going to get a frying pan and just press it down with another plate Looking ridge monkey. Yeah. We haven't used it for absolutely ages. It's perfect for this, isn't it? As well. good, aren't I have put a bit more cheese in. But yeah, I'll just put it in. Let's get them going now. It won't take much in that because no. we're burning, No. Got chips in the oven. So yeah, tonight's tea has cost us £3.50. Plus your chips, the present. Well, yeah, plus the chips. So I'll call it £4. So I'll call it £2 each. Look at all that lot. <laughs> croissants everything like i say i can't recommend it enough it just depends whether you're in that area you've got to be somewhere near um or else you can't do it there is an aldi one going tonight but we can't bother going out again can we yeah. right tea served look at the size of that thing and i've just put some chips on the side so like i say we've we've caught we've seen about four pound so two pound each it's cost us for tea tonight mm. now we've just been on costa's sat and added up everything that we got in that bag now the paninis were five were five twenty five each so we've had 23 pounds worth of food for three pound fifty it's a no-brainer is it guys so imagine how much they're making as well if they can still give it away three pound fifty anyway i'm gonna get tucked into this mark's already started to be out there and we'll see you in a bit morning like i say morning and not good morning because it's not a good morning I what's that, going off mark yeah i had that many problems have we, we do it's like it one after another at the minute shall i show you flat battery all right don't kill it kill it yeah that's the end of it but you have been saying for a while now it's been going on it i did say about three weeks ago let's just get a new battery but then Went on a campsite and you charged the battery up, didn't you? But it's yeah, not keeping it's, its charge. Well, it's it, the capacity has gone right small. It's like when you get a new battery, you get all that capacity, so it crank, crank, crank. There's only a little bit between it being fully charged and flat now, so it's probably had it. We've had the van three years, and it was not new when we got the van. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you what I do when in this situation. Come and have a look at this. This is what I say, we never get stuck. I don't even need to open my bonnet up, because I've already got the inverter on, so I'm charging the power bank. All I need to do is put... Switch your power over to the cab, so that's running off that flat battery now, and that's now charging that battery up on my battery charger. So, so because I've got two battery chargers now, I've got a charge, a char original charger which charged to the original house batteries. I just use it for charging that now. And if you go on the app, I've got an app called Battery Monitor. Not so, another app. <laughs> you see, I've just cranked it and it's gone down. Now it's going back up again. Now it's charging it up. Oh, yeah, so I'll give it five ten minutes and then hopefully it should go. So well, we'll yeah, but where we're battery. going? Well, we're going to, have to get a new battery, but at least this will get it going anyway. So now there's a Halfords just down the road, My thankfully, way. and I've got washing to do today. So there's a Revolution laundry. So I'm going to do my laundry. He's going to get a new battery, and then fingers crossed, we can get going. We're heading more south today, aren't we? Mm. We're heading to Glasgow, in the region of Glasgow anyway, because we need to be there for Thursday, don't we? Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can get a battery for this van and get it sorted. And just before we get inundated with questions asking what these are, these are switch bots and you put them on a switch that you want to turn on and off with your phone and it does it for you. So Mark's got them everywhere. I think they look like little bugs everywhere, especially when they're called bots. But you love them, don't you? Yeah, you get an app and you can switch the light. I think, I think we've shown people before anyway, you can switch the lights on and off. So. What it is, is he, he was getting in bed and forgetting to turn the lights off and had to get back out of bed, so he ended up getting one for that and now he's got them for everything. See what lights going on and off? Turn that one off behind you as well. Boys and that. their toys. So had five, six minutes on it, something like that. Never <laughs> fear.